Hello everyone, today we are cooking again. We are making flounder chowder. Uh, the first time I ever had flounder chowder was at a restaurant in Pensacola um, called Peg Leg Pete's. Yeah, um, pretty good restaurant in Pensacola. If you're ever in the Pensacola, Florida area, definitely go visit Peg Leg Pete's because um, they have really good food there. So uh, I had it a couple years ago. Well, no, I had it 10 years ago, actually. First time I had it, but I had it other times at other restaurants. But I remember the first time I had it was in the summer of 2014 while visiting uh, Pensacola, Florida. We went and ate dinner at Peg Leg Pete's, and it was pretty good getting flounder chowder. So we're going to make that today. We have all of our ingredients behind me. Um, needed to make it. And we're going to start getting ready for that right now. And I hope you all enjoy this um, because I definitely think I'm going to enjoy it. So, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, there's stuff behind me, too. We're gonna get ready right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is dice and chop our onions. Oh, our potatoes and the garlic. We need to get the chopping done first because that requires the most time. So once you have your onions and your garlic chopped, you're gonna put them into a big pot and you're gonna add half a stick of butter. Oops, steam got on the lens. You're gonna add half a stick of butter and then you're gonna pour in your onions and garlic together. And then you're gonna cook them until they are reduced in sized. Simmer them for, I'd say about five minutes, maybe a little more, just until they're reduced in size. They're not their normal shape. So once you have your onions and garlic simmered down in this butter, you're going to take some thyme, this is ground thyme, and you're going to add just a sprinkle, not too much, and you're going to stir that all together. I guess you can basically add as much as you want, and then you're going to let this simmer for just another minute. minute you're gonna add three tablespoons of all-purpose flour into the mixture that's a little more than three tablespoons it don't really matter then you're gonna mix this all together and you're gonna mix until the flour is browned So once everything is brown, you're gonna add about two cups of milk. Ah. And then one cup of vegetable stock. And mix that all together.
going to have your um, milk and your vegetable mix and you've added your bay leaf or no vegetable stock i'm sorry and you've added your bay leaf then you're gonna add the potatoes and that'll be the next thing we've added the potatoes to the mixture and the next thing we're going to do is add the half and half so now the uh, other thing we're going to do is we're actually going to cook the fish because uh, you cook the you cook the uh flounder on a pan and then you put it into the main batch right here and so the first thing we're going to do get the fire going we're going to add some butter that in now we're going to start cooking the fish All right, so this is the main stock. We have our parsley, our potatoes, our salt, our pepper. Everything's gonna be added and I will put the ingredients in the description box below. Um, so just to know that, we got nice and thick. We got everything in this pot. Well, not everything actually. Last ingredient is the flounder. How I made my flounder is I basically just um, put some butter on the pan and then I put the actual fish fillets in there and I just cut them up, dice them up. I know it's a little sticky, but it'll be fine. Uh, put them all together and then I grilled them on the, or I fried them on the pan. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add them into the pot. All right, everyone, um, everything is done. It turned out really good. It's really good. And y'all agree? It's the best I've ever had. Delicious. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Founder chowder. So I hope you all love this as much as we do. Um, again, ingredients and instructions are in the description box below. So go ahead and look at that if you want to make this yourself. And I hope you all love it as much as we do. Uh, but then again, thank you for joining me on another day of life and adventures of Ben. Thank you. Bye. Right. Thank you.